Welcome back. Thank you for joining us tonight. A word of warning from a Valley woman who says she underestimated the power of Hurricane Maria. Now she wants others to learn from her mistake. Channel 5's Daisy Martinez spoke with a woman who just returned home from Puerto Rico. It was a race for survival and there was only room for the most valued items. Your family picture, your favorite stuffed animal, a coloring book to keep you busy because we don't know how long we're going to be there and something to wear. With two small suitcases in hand for each, Melva Montemayor Hausman, her husband and two children headed for the airport in San Juan, Puerto Rico Sunday, looking to get off the island. The Brownsville family was able to get on a humanitarian flight out. There's no priority seating, there's no nothing. You get on and you don't care where they're taking you. I mean, there was no... Did they're you like, know no. at that point where you were going? No, and we, were, we didn't care. We just needed to get onto the mainland and they and then it, they, they came out and they announced this flight is going to Newark. Now back on the mainland, she reflects on the experience. Montemayor Hausman says her family decided not to evacuate, afraid they wouldn't be able to make it back to the island. Her family took cover from Hurricane Maria in a basement for more than 12 hours. In the middle of it, we kind of were like, oh my God, what do we do? When, when you started hearing the waves and the, the just sounded like a train. We started praying and just hoping for the best. Montemayor Hausman says once the storm passed, she was quick to assess the damage and help others. Just by a miracle from God, our condominium was fine. We did what anyone else would do. We brought our friends into our home. She says the days after the storm were unbearable. Montemayor Hausman says she felt helpless. Tonight, she wants others to learn from her experience. Never expect that, oh, it's going to pass us. Be prepared no matter what. She says her family will stay in Brownsville until things are back to normal in Puerto Rico. In Brownsville, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News.